Hey, we am Cross Vidala. I'm Jason Cross. And we're here to talk about Microsoft's reveal of the Xbox One. That's the yeah. official name. Yeah. It's not the Infinity. Not Infinity. Not, not the Fusion. No, everybody was wrong. We were definitely wrong. We definitely yeah. said Fusion. So Xbox One is a thing. It's coming out. Release date later this year. Yeah. Worldwide, they said later Worldwide, this year, later whatever this year. that means. But at least it's before holidays, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what everybody said. They didn't say a price. Nope, no price. They did say some specs. They did specs. So it's eight core CPU. Yep. Uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, which right. will do the job. Blu-ray. Yep. Gotta have that. Blu-ray. Um, USB 3.0, if you're yep. gonna use that. 500 gig hard drive. 500 gigabytes, that's good to start with. It's good, yeah, it's a good starting place. It was 20 on the original Xbox 360. Oh my goodness. And what, eight on the old Xbox? <laughs> yeah. Five billion transistors, by the way. Yeah. Fun fact. They counted them by hand. Yeah, they were like, how many? Uh, you, 409. Oh, I gotta start over. Yeah. And, and then uh, HDMI else? in and out, which is how they're doing the TV stuff. You plug your cable right. box into the HDMI in and then out. So it works like a Google TV. That way. There's so many things in my particular household right now that have like ins and outs. Where does the cable go in? It goes into the Wii U. No, it goes into the cable box. No, it goes in. Right. So this will probably like, you know, that's, if you get this Xbox, that's your main place where the stuff goes in and out. Right. Yeah. Um, so in general, some, let's just talk about some features of the system. Yeah. So the, they're, they spend an hour as opposed to Sony spending like more than two hours on their event. So they yep. didn't, they left a lot out. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But the, uh, the main gist of it is that this is really viewed by them as an entertainment box, not yep. just a game box. Yeah, it's an it's expansion on what 360 was doing. Yeah. Is being your, your entertainment center in the middle right. of your living room. And then now it's just expanded by obviously the Kinect that comes with it. Right. So Kinect comes with it. Fancy new Kinect that they talked about all the cool things it could do. Yeah. By the way, let's let's real quick go over how both how huge both of those look. They look big. Yeah, like the they look pretty big. The system looks massive. The like, system looks like a piece of AV equipment, yeah. not like a little box. It looks like it's meant to go on your rack of other Yeah, it is like a, a super DVD player or yeah. something like that, a Blu-ray yeah. player. Uh, and the Kinect looks bigger too, which it has to be because it has more brains inside it. Yeah, and uh, fancier cameras and stuff. Fancier, yeah. yeah. And it recognizes you, which, you know, the old Kinect did, but this one's going to do it like all the time. They specifically said low latency, which we'll see. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. New controller. New controller. Which has got fancy haptic something triggers. Haptic and feedback and the triggers. They specifically mentioned the precision D-pad thing, so we'll see. Hopefully they fix the D-pad. I like those clear buttons. It's yeah. a small feature, but I love the clear buttons it, or the left. It looks system. a lot like the uh, existing Xbox 360 oh, controller, yeah, nothing which new. we like, yeah. But they did say that it would interact with the Kinect. So if you're playing with your controller and you pulled up your controller, you all of a sudden have a shield. Yeah, like Kinect and working together and it recognizes, yeah. Kinect recognizes the controller and stuff. Yeah, 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 so yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, the, some of the things that were interesting about the features with Kinect, the instant switching was interesting if it really works as, as they show it Yeah, they switched be. between TV and Internet Explorer, which who cares about on your console, and games and watching a downloaded movie and stuff, like just by voice, and it, it switched. It was fast. Like, like yeah. really fast, and you know, there's a lot of BS in these presentations. Oh, of course, so yeah, yeah. who knows if it's really the that fast. The magic of it working. But, yeah, yeah, but it was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, also, the really cool feature, again, if it works the right way, is the grab and pan business. Yeah. So you're just like, ah, oh, I want to just change and go back to my home screen. Yeah, you, you just kind of yeah, you just kind of do one of these things and you go back to your home screen. Minority Report ish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it has the sort of docking thing that Windows 8 has, where you can kind of take an app and make it a third of your screen while you keep watching something else over yeah, here. Yeah, but no one uses that yet, do they? No, and uh, I don't think so. The the one use case they showed that was kind of neat is they took a Skype call while they were watching some movie or something. That one I might do. Which brings us to Skype is built in. Right, finally. You know, and not it's no longer what was it called before like. Just Microsoft chat feature, <laughs> you know? I don't know, yeah, it was now just, it's just Skype. video chat in yeah. live, and now it's just Skype. I think a really interesting thing was with the guide, um, I just recently got the Wii U for a lot of that kind of TV integration stuff. Yeah, um, you know, so it, this it, is direct live TV integration. Direct. Like your TV cable box or whatever, they, they said with Comcast, hopefully we'll hear all about providers and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But you plug your HDMI out right into your Xbox and you got your guide, they were changing channels by going, watch CBS and stuff like that, and it was just changing to it. That's a question I have for you though. I don't know, I mean, I def definitely didn't do it much with my original Kinect, but right. how much are you gonna actually change the channel with your voice? I mean- If it really works well, I, that's easier than me picking up the remote. Is if it I, though? If I can say watch Comedy Central because I know Daily Show's coming on, that's easier, but right, I but never watch watch anything that's coming on by yeah, channel. Yeah, exactly. I watch he was mine. doing like watch TV and oh, I'm, Price is Right. Well, I'm just gonna watch Price is Right now, but I, I, it's usually me with the guide it's or gotta the work on demand. With, it's gotta work with my DVR. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well they did mention though that on demand would work with some of this guide stuff. 
right. which is helpful because yeah, that's how I watched I liked that. the trending stuff where he just said trending and it showed all the different like sort of TV programs that people on Xbox Live are watching yep. by, by trending stuff. So that's kind of a cool. It's interesting. Uh, well, yeah, asking what's on HBO? I would do that. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing I would use it for. So by the way, connect, uh, fun fact number two, 13th billionth of a second to recognize you. Yeah, uh, they said something about speed of the photons to reach you or some BS. Like, Science. I don't know. Um, smart glass integration, blah, blah, blah. That was weird. They talked about the three main control things all working together being connect, the controller, and smart glass, and mm -hmm. they didn't demo any smart no. glass stuff at all. No, no, it's it just, must just not be ready or something. It's, it's not ready. It's just, it was weird. The dedicated game DVR seemed really interesting because now mm. they have 300,000 servers. So right. the idea that you could be able to just record your gameplay. Yeah, it's recording your gameplay, and then they That's said built-in editing tools that are like on the custom things on the box that you would edit your gameplay and then like upload them, upload them to. Yeah, yeah. So you know, Sony's doing that too. I think it's safe to say that in this next generation, sharing video of your gameplay is just going to be easy. A, it's easy, and it's going to be like that's the baseline feature. You right. Know, that's that's what everyone's gonna have. Yeah. We'll all be sharing video of our gameplay the way people used to share screenshots. Yeah, yeah. Like and then the the, like it has the you know the native editing tool and stuff like that right in it. So yeah. we'll be able to make cool. Funny Look at this awesome and thing I did. Yeah, yeah. And, um, okay, so that's mainly the features. It seems pretty much like a, nothing like super crazy that we didn't expect. No, they left out so much, like not, not just big details like price and stuff, but they didn't talk, there were a lot of games they didn't talk about. They talked a lot about Call of Duty Ghosts. That was their big that was, that reveal. Was it's not exclusive, but they're doing that thing where the DLC will be exclusively yeah. first on Xbox yeah, before yeah. it comes out anywhere else. I really guess, I mean, I'm generally not the Call of Duty guy. Most people know that. Mm. Um, but this is interesting because again, the guy who wrote Traffic, wrote the you know script for it, I guess, or yeah. something. And then also, it just in the trailer, it did feel more like, hey, I'm going to care about these people. That's They, they made a big people, deal about that. They, the thing that sold me is you have a dog as part of your crew, yeah, and, and they had dog. the dog in the motion capture suit is what they showed. That was what sold me. You know that dog dies. Oh, you know that does. dog yeah, has yeah, yeah. got to die. Spoiler alert. Call yeah. Duty Ghost, the dog dies. Yeah, I'm sure. You heard it here first. Um, also, uh, EA Sports talked a lot about their sports. Yeah, and they're which, doing some exclusive stuff with them with Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay, so FIFA, Madden, NBA Live. Finally, by the way, live. Yeah. That's been canceled a million times. They're finally coming back, so right. that's for and real. And UFC. And UFC is one of my biggest things. I'm a big UFC yeah. head. Right. And that's the thing, but um, it did look really amazing. They showed a little bit of footage. Of course, we don't know what it really is, but right. um, it looks cool. UFC. I'm excited about that. Uh, lastly, the other games were Forza Motorsport 5. Yep, which, you know, they showed it, pretty nice cars, cars driving around, Fancy beautiful. Glare. Yeah. I'm over I'm that sure as look. a demo. Yeah, that's Fancy not what cars. I want to know. No. Uh, Quantum Break seemed interesting with a live I have no trailer. idea what's going on there. That's Remedy's new game, the guys who made uh, Alan Wake and before that Max Payne. And it's full of like live action and CG and graphics and I have no idea what's going on. It's really weird. It feels like it might be a mixture of Alan Wake, Uncharted, with live action. One other thing about Call of Duty Ghosts, they talk about the AI. Yeah, an improvement, an improvement in, AI. in AI. I'll believe that when Let I see it. Let me tell you, the example they gave was the fish when you're swimming. Right. Move out of the way. Mm. Great! Super. Super fantastic AI it, advancement. Oh, the fish will move out of the way, Jason. Isn't oh my that God. amazing? Yeah. It'll feel so real. I have to have one. I mean, all I'm saying is, the arms are better in this game. They, we know that. They went into great detail about how the arms the look arms all messed up be now. Better. Yeah. But the AI, you know, maybe... The fish move out of the way. The fish move out of the way. So that's your that look That should at be the tagline, Xbox One. <laughs> the, the fish, fish move, move out, out of the way. way. You heard it here first. Also, by the way, uh, you heard it here first. Reveal, Xbox One, 199. We're saying it. Can we just say it? No, I think it's. Here, here's what I think: 500 bucks, 299 with uh, Xbox Live to your subscription. Okay, like you heard it here you, first. That's it. Yeah. Either way, it's gonna be exciting. Um, I'm actually really excited about it. I mean, uh, it's, I think it looks really neat. Uh, we gotta see a lot more. We next see a lot more. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see it at E3, and you'll see it from our coverage at E3. And until then, go check out more Xbox uh, coverage because we're gonna have a lot of articles up today. Yep. Uh, so go to techhive.com or go to techhive.com/video. And that's it. We'll see you later.